Good morning, I'm Carly. Welcome to my What I Eat in a Day video. Um, I recently just lost 40 pounds, so I decided to make this video to show you guys what I eat in a day and how like what I've been eating has been helping me lose weight. I've been on a calorie deficit and I basically still eat whatever I want, just in moderation. I just mind my calories, I substitute some things, so I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Um, if you're new, hello, hi, I'm Carly. Subscribe so we can be friends. And if you're not new, but you've watched my video before, you're not subscribed, like, whoa, whoa. Subscribe, sis, press that red button down below. But, uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm downstairs now. One of the first things I like to do is fill my little cup with water, some cold water. I try to drink it as I'm cooking breakfast because water is very important. I try, keyword try, to drink a lot of water. Who's texting me? I try to drink a lot of water throughout the day. Like it's something I actually struggle with because I just keep forgetting to drink water. But I feel like when I put it in like a cute cup or something like and I have it around, I drink more. So that's what I do. So for breakfast, I'm going to be making like a, a breakfast scramble like with no potatoes though. Just with like eggs, ground beef, ground beef. Just with like eggs, ground beef and stuff like that. I'm about to show you guys the ingredients right now. So I have my spinach, my meat, my tomatoes, my onions, my eggs. And it's fourth of a cup, so I'm going to measure out fourth of a cup for the cheese. That's good. The oil I'm going to use, it's Pam cooking spray. It's five sprays for 10 calories, so I like that you could like control how many calories you're going to use. So let's get cooking. So I'm going to add five sprays. One, two, three, four, five. Then I add... My onions, definitely mix the pot, seasoning to my eggs, and I'm just going to mix it all up. I'm going to set that aside for when I'm ready to put that in. I'm going to add some spinach. Now I'm going to add my ground beef. I don't add all my spinach because I like, I don't like when all my spinach is too cooked because I still like when it has that crunch, you know? Just honestly, I'm just letting the ground beef warm up because it's already cooked, so it just needs to warm up a little bit. And now it's time to add my eggs. And I just put the seasonings that I showed you. It doesn't look the prettiest, but I promise it's bomb. I'm gonna start adding some cheese. Like I said, it's not the prettiest, but it's good. I'm gonna put it in a bowl and I add the remainder of the cheese on top. Spread it out. Then I add my tomatoes. So this is my breakfast. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. I really like adding buffalo sauce to my little breakfast. All together, this breakfast is 280 calories, which is not bad because it's very filling, like really filling. So I'm gonna eat my breakfast and drink my water. I'm gonna eat this. I know what it tastes like, but I feel like it's always better when you eat your food that you make, right? Mm. It's really good. I just really love how appetizing it is and how filling it is and how low calorie it is. And the hot sauce definitely gives it 
that kick that it needs. After I eat this, I'll probably eat a kiwi. I usually eat like this and some type of fruit. Hey guys, it's lunchtime. So for lunch, I'm gonna eat a chicken wrap, a grilled chicken wrap. So I have my skillet heating up now and I'm about to grill some chicken on it. And then we're gonna build the wrap. Cool. While I'm grilling the chicken, while the chicken is cooking, I'm gonna cut my tomatoes. I'm basically gonna put <laughs> a lot of the same ingredients that I put in my breakfast. Like I'm gonna put tomatoes, onions, spinach, that's what I put before. But I'm gonna add um, lettuce, chipotle, honey mustard. You'll see what I'm gonna do. So basically, yeah. I'm gonna heat up this chicken. Wait for this to heat up, bring my oil on the pan, and I'm just gonna put the chicken on. You know, basic grilled chicken. My chicken is already marinated. I always like I always marinate my chicken at the beginning of the week, just put it in the fridge and then as I want to cook it, I take it out and cook it on my skillet. That sizzle is very important. As this cooks, I'm going to go prep my tomatoes, onions, I'm just going to slice them up so I could build my wrap. I'm going to let my chicken cool down before I cut into it. While I do that, I'm going to start marinating my shrimp for dinner. Hi. I marinated my shrimp. Now I'm about to make my wrap. I'm going to cut my chicken. And strips. It was juicy. It's so juicy. I use the flat out wraps and they're 90 calories. And this is an Italian herb. This one looks hella wonky <laughs> because been in my um, my fridge. Combination that I love using on my wraps is chipotle and honey mustard. Then I have my tomato, my onion, my lettuce, my um, spinach, and I use this provolone cheese, which is 40 calories a slice. So first, I'm gonna use my chipotle. The chipotle is. 90 calories a tablespoon which is pretty high but I use this little measuring cup and it says like the tablespoons and stuff so I'm gonna put exactly a tablespoon in here it's about right I'm just gonna put it on and a tablespoon is literally more than enough but I like my joint saucy and I love honey mustard and this honey mustard is five calories no, let me get another angle for you guys and honestly if you don't even like chipotle like that don't do it don't like then it's 90 calories which you could save 90 calories sometimes if I like really want it to be really low calorie I use light mayo which is 35 calories and I'll mix that with the um, the honey mustard and the honey mustard is five calories so but I didn't even use the whole thing I have so much left in there but I just like to measure it out so I know what I'm doing I use two slices of cheese actually maybe I am gonna use one slice no I'm gonna use one slice and I'm gonna keep it at 40 calories so the cheese is 40 calories and I just add my chicken on there and I add my tomatoes my other camera just died so we're just gonna be using this one onions my spinach and my lettuce and we're gonna try to roll this up not try we're gonna succeed boom we did it and that's my wrap so this is our wrap it ripped open whatever it's still edible 
and I'm gonna put on the screen how many calories it is. Oh, it's gonna be so good. The wrap is really good, really good. I have some editing to do, so I'm gonna go do that, and I'll see you guys for dinner. It's finally time for dinner. It's lit. I'm gonna have a little pre-dinner snack. Some goldfish. I love goldfish so much. I always portion mine out so I could have exactly how much I'm supposed to be having. So it's uh, 55 pieces, 30 grams, 140 calories. But I just love goldfish. Mm. <laughs> For dinner, we're making some honey garlic shrimp, some cauliflower fried rice, and some broccoli. I'm excited. It's gonna be so good. I'm gonna snack on this. I just dropped one. <laughs> I should mind this like two calories. I'm gonna snack on these and I'm gonna start dinner. First, I'm gonna cook the shrimp. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cook the shrimp. I think I told you guys, but I marinated it with soy sauce, garlic, and honey. And there was some other like marinade on it. Oh. It's gonna be so good. Let's get started. It's not my savage. Mm -mm. How's it go? It's not my savage. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know any TikTok dance. I just know the baby. Uh, 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 uh. Hey. <laughs> it didn't feel hot enough to me. No, it's hot. It's hot. I ain't hear the sizzle. The sizzle is so important. So I'm gonna let that cook up um, on each side for like three minutes. Shrimp doesn't take long to cook at all. I love making this recipe because it's quick. It's really quick, really easy. Shrimp is quick to cook. The broccoli and the cauliflower is quick to cook. So, some are crispy, some are not. So I'm just moving them around, moving them around in the pan. They could cook evenly. I think there's like a hot spot. I think it's the middle. We want some more garlic, so I'm just gonna add some salt and herb. No, garlic and herb. I'll just like to taste it before I take it out to see if I want to add anything. Oh my god, it's so good. Put it in a bowl so I could set it aside so I could make my broccoli and then my cauliflower rice. Oh, look at that shrimp. I'm living! It looks so good. I'm gonna add my broccoli in here. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. So I'm just gonna put them relatively close together. Just gonna add some pink Himalayan salt. And garlic. I sometimes instead of salt I like to use soy sauce but because I put soy sauce uh, because I put soy sauce on the shrimp and I'm gonna put some in the cauliflower rice I'm not gonna put it on the broccoli because that's just gonna be too much sodium I'm gonna put it all together and I'm gonna put my lid on it I'm gonna put it all together then I'm gonna put my lid on it lately I've really enjoyed cooking I feel like Going on Pinterest and finding new like healthy recipes has just been really fun for me to like actually see them and try them out. I've really been enjoying that. Let me know if you guys like this type of video. I was like kind of nervous to make it, but it's actually really fun because I love cooking one. I love filming too, so it's just like, why not do it? I like making my broccoli like this because it's no added calories. Just because it's um like fried rice and like shrimp is the only reason why I'm making it on the stove. But I usually roast my broccoli under the oven or I will use the air fryer. 
because I like when my broccoli is crispy. But when I'm eating like fried rice, I like like a soft broccoli. Not like, not mushy soft, but like, like this. So I'm gonna let it hang out in here for like three more minutes and I'm gonna take it out. Then we're gonna start our cauliflower rice. Now that is a lot of freaking broccoli. Now I'm gonna make my fried cauliflower rice and I literally cheat, well not cheat, but I make it so easy. I use this right here, the Green Giant Riced Veggies. And it has, um, it's cauliflower, it has green onions, carrots, and peas, right? Yeah, it has cauliflower, green peas, onions, carrots, and green onion. This is so easy. It takes literally a couple minutes to cook. So we're about to do that. So I just added some onions and I'm going to let it cook down. Then I'm going to add some garlic. I'm not going to add it with the onions just because I don't want the garlic to burn because the onions take a little longer to cook. This is my favorite smell. That smell of like the onions starting to saute and when I add the garlic, oh, I love that smell so much. One thing that I usually add to this recipe that I'm not going to today is green onions. I usually just chop up some fresh green onions and put in, but because of Corona, there's no green onions. Like, what are y'all doing with green onions? Why is there nothing left in the store? All right, now I'm gonna add my garlic. I love garlic, so I'm gonna add a good amount. So this rice comes like, it's like usually in one. You just gotta break it up before you cook it. And the whole bag, this whole bag is 75 calories. If you eat the whole freaking bag. 75 calories. This is the rice. With this rice, you could make it with basically anything. You do it with shrimp, like we're doing today, or chicken, or steak, or tofu. And I am gonna season my rice with some garlic. I usually, I honestly use the same seasonings for like everything, garlic, salt, pepper, actually mm, just a tiny bit of salt because I'm going to add the um, soy sauce. Get that pepper going. Salt free Mrs. Dash. And then that garlic, 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 and herb. <gasps> that was too much. And I'm gonna add an egg. I realized I had eggs this morning. I didn't put two and two together. I forgot that there's eggs in this recipe. But typically, I wouldn't do this and have eggs in the morning because I just feel like it's too much eggs. But I feel like I can't leave out the egg. Like, it's fried rice. I have to have an egg. And I usually, with this amount of rice, I usually add two eggs, so I'm just going to add one since I did have that egg this morning. Mix the egg up. If you like ginger, you could add some ginger to this. I'm not a big fan of ginger, just so I don't usually do that. So I'm going to add my soy sauce. I'm going to do one tablespoon. I want to mix it up real good so that I know the whole thing is coated with soy sauce. And by the way, the soy sauce I did use is low sodium. And if you don't want to use soy sauce, you could also use liquid aminos. I didn't have any, but that's another thing that I sometimes use. And that literally took like 20 minutes. It did not take long at all. I'm so zoomed into the camera because I want you guys to see this too. And I'm laughing like I'm so close, like in your personal space. I'm sorry. Here is our plates. Got a lot of veggies on there. And I got my shrimp and my fried rice. 
this just looks so good like i can't this is the end result i add some red chili flakes just because you know i like mine a little spicy i can't add it to the recipe because my boyfriend doesn't like spicy but i'm literally i'm about to devour this and i'm gonna come back when i'm done so i'm gonna end off my night with um these pineapple slices they're 140 calories for four slices and they're like little dried pieces so three stuff together here this is four it like satisfies my sweet tooth for the whole day i had 1369 calories which is pretty good because i try to have around 1400 1300 my macros were 39% carbs 28% fat and 33% protein this is basically what I eat like as you can see like I'm not starving like even on a calorie deficit like I'm eating pretty good hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you in my next video bye